What is up my friends? Today we are going to have a little fun in Photoshop. Um, and this year as opposed to last year we're going to do more uh, we're going to do more creating. We're going to do things that are more for uh, I guess photos that you might actually use more realistic purposes and whatnot. Um, but we're going to start with kind of a mix of a little something new and, and a little something uh, that you guys have done before. Um, just to have a little fun here to get us back in the swing of things with Photoshop. So first of all, I've got my my picture here. And what I am going to do is I'm going to go up here to Layer, New, and I'm going to create a new layer. Click OK. And you remember my layers are back here, right? So this is where my, my layers go. And what I'm going to do with this layer is I'm going to fill it. I'm going to give it a color. So I'm going to go to Edit, Fill. Um, and I am going to make it a white. So I'm going to go to Edit, White, make that a white layer. So now I've got this white layer on top. And next what I want to do is I want to darken some of these edges. So I'm going to go here to Filter. And I think Lens Correction is what I want. Let's see if this is what I want. Oh, and yes it is. And I'm going to go here to Custom. And I'm going to go to Vignette, Vignette, Villa, Villa. I don't really know. But what I'm going to do here is that when I mess with this, and uh, it starts to darken it around the edges. And that's kind of what I want to go for. I want to darken it around the edges. So I'm going to take it to negative 100. I'm going to click OK. And so now I've got my layers down here. This is great. And right here is where um, I can I can mess with uh, my, my blend here. And what I'm going to do, I think what I am going to want to go with is multiply. Um, you can kind of look and see what the different different ones do and, and uh, what, what you might want yours to look like. I am going to stick with multiply and just darken it a little bit around the edges there. And then it, uh, again, you can mess with the opacity and that would make it darker. Um, or not as dark, but that's kind of the look I want to go for, right? So it's just got the the edges um, <clears throat> darkened in there. And now what I am going to do, um, I'm going to open up another image. And we're going to open up this image of Uncle Rico. Oh, there he is. Look at him. And we're going to go to a tool that we used back in the day and when you guys were little youngins in sixth grade called the Magnetic Lasso. And so what I'm going to do with the lasso here is trace around Uncle Rico. I'm going to go kind of quick because I don't really want to pause the tutorial. Um, remember when you get in tricky spots, you can click your mouse um, with the magnetic la lasso to help you out. So sometimes when you change direction um, a little bit, it, it's a good idea to click on your mouse. Um, if you get way out, it shouldn't be too big of an issue, but if you really mess up on your lasso, so I'm going to click down at the edge and come straight over like that, click again. But um, as I was saying, if you really mess up with your lasso like that, you can go backwards and press delete and it will get rid of the squares um, that you have made. Like I said, I'm going to go quick, quicker, and get up here to the top of his hair and boom, Uncle Rico. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit copy and I'm going to come in here and we're going to edit paste. Oh, and look at him, looking smooth. Um, and so I've got Uncle Rico in here. And what I can do with Uncle Rico, I'm going to hit Control T. And we're going to bring Uncle Rico down to size. Um, and what you're going to come to notice here is that I have some stuff left in there. So that's where you could go, go to your eraser tool. And you could come in here and touch, touch that up. Um, and remember your brackets will change the size of your brush so I could come in here now this is where you can zoom in real tight and try to get things perfect just the way you might want them um, so that is looking pretty good for Uncle Rico to me now I need to head to my next step 
which is getting the Madden font in there. And so I'll, I'll provide this for you guys. Um, real Madden font. It took me a while to find this. Um, so what I am going to do here is select it. And go to edit copy. And then I'm going to come in here. Edit paste. And I've, that's just quite lovely. I'm going to go to my move tool. And I'm going to hit control T. So I can mess with it. Now ideally I'd probably want to get a bigger uh, photo for my football field. But this, this will work um, good enough for me. And so we'll get Madden 20. I don't think it's on his head. I don't think that's where it's at. And then there's a couple other things I need to get to blend in down here. And um, so there I got it figured out, resize a little bit. And then I think the only other things I need, I could touch up his hair up there because that's looking a little rough. Um, I need to open, we'll just... Odin open up um, I guess the, an actual cover of the game so I have this open so now what I can do here is again use your lasso tool and I can get these little things oh dear and so that's a mess up so I'm gonna go back so you may have to click your mouse a little bit more on these to help it select the right thing and so basically now I'm just going in and I'm stealing things off photos. And I could do a better job of that, which I'll expect you guys to, but since this is just a quick tutorial, edit, copy, edit, paste. Um, and so now my layer's down there, right? I want to move it to the top because I want that to be on top of it. And so here's an example where I might go down here and zoom in um, and clean that up. So get my eraser tool and kind of come in here and, and get rid of that orange um, off of there. And again, this would work better if you just did a better job selecting it. I did not do a very good job of selecting it, right? And we can put that down there, hit Control T, free transform to make that smaller, and then um, hit Enter. And then I think usually, yeah, you could go in and get this to put above it um, and get the E for everyone. It's up to you if you want to try to get that. That could be a little tricky. but then you would come in and magnetic lasso that. And so basically now all you guys are doing is magnetic lassoing these things. Now, um, if one of these is tougher, like you may be able to find this EA Sports as a transparent image, um, which could make your life life a little bit easier. Um, you got, you want to work smarter, not harder. And But you can just do these with the little images that I give you. Go to my eraser. Patch that up. Look back here, Control T to free transform it. And again, there's a little more I would need to get with my eraser, but I could put that there. Hit enter. So again, I, I would need to touch that up like I would expect you guys to do that. And then the only other thing I would need to go get would be the E for everyone. And again, I'm going to go super quick just because I want to be done with the tutorial. Um, I want you guys to do a much cleaner job than I'm doing here. Edit, copy. Get back to my original page. Edit, paste. Control T. Shrink that down and put that somewhere um, on the cover. You can pull up that, you know, a real cover to make it look realistic. And then boom, Uncle Rico throwing footballs over the mountains. That's what he's doing, kids. So anyway, you guys can have some fun with that. Um, after you do Uncle Rico, maybe you put yourself on the cover of Madden. Have a good day, kids.